the markets are continuing their momentum today. Uh, the main reason for that is uh, investor Bill Ackman said uh, on an interview with uh, the David Rubenstein show on Bloomberg uh, that uh, he thinks that the Federal Reserve will cut interest rates in the first quarter of next year. And as of now, the markets aren't pricing in rate cuts that early. If anything, the markets are starting to price in interest rate cuts uh, starting at May of next year or, uh, or with higher probability of June of next year. So the fact that uh, Bill Ackman made those comments um, thinking that the Fed will have to cut rates sooner because he thinks that real rates are too high with inflation starting to go down because currently uh, uh, the interest rates for the Federal Reserve are at five and a half percent and if inflation is at three percent that's real yields of two and a half percent so if inflation keeps falling real yields will be high and uh, Bill Ackman is a notable investor he made a huge bet um, in August uh, shorting bonds and he covered those short, he covered that short on in late October, and since then, uh, bond yields are down 70 basis points from their high of five percent. When Bill Ackman announced that he was covering um, his bond shorts, as a result, this could be one of the best bond trades of all time. As a result, U.S. bonds have risen 4.3 percent so far in November. This makes November, at least so far, the best uh, month for uh, bonds in about 40 years. This combined with uh, $8.3 uh, trillion of uh, money market funds sitting on the sidelines, which is a record too. If that $8.3 trillion in cash and money market funds flows back into the bond market at, or stocks, uh, in terms of, uh, especially if the federal, if the Fed cuts interest rates next year, or as Bill Ackman says, Q1, that would mean that money market rates would start declining, making um, especially stocks and equities a good alternative. And that FOMO, that FOMO, if you're missing out, should likely uh, help propel the Santa Claus rally into year end. On top of that, we also saw. Uh, Q3 GDP was revised up from 4.9% to 5.2%, partially due to business investment and government spending. Um, this shows that the economy is still hot. This is still something we have to watch next year because JP Morgan Chase CEO is, is, is said today uh, on an interview that he's not sure if this will mean a hard or soft landing next year. This is something we have to watch, but either way, the markets are reacting uh, pretty well right now to uh, Bill Ackman's comments that he thinks that uh, the Fed will start cutting rates in uh, Q1 of 2024. And last but not least, we had more Fed comments today. We had Fed comments from Raphael Bostic and uh, Fed official Barkin offering a little bit of different opinions on interest rates. Uh, Raphael Bostic pretty much said what Chris Waller said yesterday, that he thinks the current interest rates of about 5.5% should be sufficient to slow economic growth and bring inflation down to 2%. And Barkin said that he still needs to be more convinced that inflation's really going down and he wouldn't want to take a, another hike off the table. But uh, although those paths of uh, their opinions are a little bit different, uh, overall, the tone of uh, Fed comments right now is slightly on the dovish side, and we're starting to see that difference of opinion. And this is also why uh, bond yields uh, are going down even lower, and we're about 4.25% today, which is uh, helping the stock market as well.